It's just such a lovely day. I think I take advantage of it. I got my workout in, a nice little two hour workout. I did pretty okay. I'm not very strong anymore, but uh, I'm efficient enough to carry my backpacks and all that stuff. I'm kind of close to my little RV that I'm renting. Very, very wonderful landlord. I and will forever be in his debt. You know, I always have a debt of gratitude for the man. Guy. You know, giving me. There is my RV day up there. Okay, it's a tiny little place. But right behind it, just a nice little spot. I'm not exactly fond of the road behind me. I wish I had a little bit better piece of property. I'd like to walk around on or something like that. A little garden of Eden, which I don't quite have, but shoot. I'm just enjoying the days. Like I say, I mean, I put a little short out today. I'm like looking at it and I'm saying, man, it's like 74 degrees in my RV with the door wide open for two and a half hours while I did a workout. And I'm kind of like saying, yeah, this is definitely the arc building phase. I think this is like a warning or something of signs or a sign of the time, you know? Maybe I'm wrong, but I have personally never in my life. I've been up in Tennessee, Western Pennsylvania for about 13 years, I think. Yeah, definitely. And um, I've never seen a winter like this that has so many. I've seen some very lovely, lovely days, you know, winter days where the weather was pretty decent. But I've never seen anything quite like this. So many days it's been like this January, February, and December. And we've had a few wintry days. I think I got a short uploaded. I think the 23rd of December we had a, a really cool looking storm and it was, you know, very wintry. And had a couple of days a week ago to where it was in the teens at night. Um, but anyway. <laughs> I can't help but to say, I don't know, to make a mental note of it. Everything's been weird for the last couple of years. After my little workout, I hate influencing anybody who may be watching that, you know, has an alcohol issue or something like that. I personally have alcohol problems to some degree you know but i'm not like a major alcoholic but i have a little wine here and i'm kind of uh i like to drink only on an empty stomach i know there's a cold drink on an empty stomach i cannot drink on a full stomach or even a half full stomach it just i just don't enjoy it this is light wine it's about probably around seven or eight percent or something like that and, I'm only I just had that's it, there's nothing left. I hate putting that video out here because I have I know somebody in my life, somebody very close to me that does have alcohol issues and you know, I don't want them to uh be influenced into drinking, but I also can't live under glass just because somebody else has a an alcohol problem you know I've had alcohol issues in my life and I've simply just worked through them and I just don't drink and go bananas I don't drink and go out and get into trouble with people so you know I can't live under glass just because somebody else has got an alcohol issue but if I can avoid you know I don't know throwing a video out there that makes them tempted I will but I, like I say I can't live under glass completely you know I do drink a little bit medicinally and the reason I drink medicinally is because for some reason as I got older, I just don't go bananas anymore when I drink. I just don't. I used to. I remember once I got arrested. I think I was like 20, 21. And it was just for stupid shit, fighting. It was not a felony at all, you know. And it was all solved, resolved, and everything with a little time that I did. But... Um, yeah, I was hitchhiking around the country and things like that. And I ended up around uh, just outside of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. It was like uh, a smaller town outside of it, but it was in the uh, Hamilton County. And 
downtown Cincinnati's Hamilton County. And I don't know, I got into a scuffle with some dude and I was acting all, you know, a little crazy when I was drinking. Um, I was looking for more alcohol and I was too drunk to really buy any. And this is, you know, I'm saying the story just to show the difference between like how I would drink years ago and versus how I drink more medicinally now. You know, time kind of heals, you know. A spiritual path does actually work. <laughs> but anyways, with that said, I, uh, I really got pretty drunk. <laughs> I drank some at a bar, I drank some from some wine I bought, I think, at a grocery store or something, and I ended up kind of going a little bit bananas, not too bananas to where I should have gone to jail, really, to be honest with you, I shouldn't have, I should have just, you know, people should have just blew it off, but I got into a bit of a scuffle with some guy, and some guy, just to be a dick, called the cops on me, and the cops, you know, arrested me, and... I went bananas, just cuckoo, crazy, talking psycho, talking like I could kill the whole world, and just, they ended up having to do the hog tie situation with me, and they actually had to put like a football, not a football helmet, like a hockey helmet, I would say it was, like the kind that they put on like the uh, retarded people and stuff like that in classes, it was horrible, I screamed, I hollered, I cussed them out. I was in a cell alone, thank God, because, you know, prisoners probably would have kicked the crap out of me. And I did that more than once, too. I never got a felony in my life, thank God. But somehow, I just blessed and, got, and escaped, you know. And I swear somebody, something's been watching out for me my whole life. I mean, just hiking around the country doing this stuff, you know, and barely a scratch in the paint i do have a few scratches here and there in the paint i definitely got a little trauma from my past you know there's no doubt about it um i'm definitely at, at minimum a very bruised romantic with a few uh hmm, with some trauma and i perpetuated the trauma over and over again I re-victimized myself more than once. I mean, I lived a life where, mm, how can I say it? All I can say is I was re-victimizing myself in order to feel or in order to objectify myself or in order to maybe validate that I exist. Whatever it was, I'm not sure what it was. It's real deep neurosis kind of stuff. And I was re-victimizing myself. And I lived a life of doing that over and over again until I eventually, the, I don't know, it was, was gradually, somehow, I healed through it. My spiritual path the last several years has really, really helped me a lot. And it's not been a straight shot, you know. Spirituality is not a red-eye shot from one place to another. It is a mountain range of ups and downs and ups and downs. And it's the healing comes in moments of rapture and snippets of intuition. And, you know, there's no exact formula that fits there's no one size fits all kind of spirituality and there's definitely no one judgment fits all when it comes to god and people something is going on and there is much more to life than meets the eye and that is what i've gradually learned and somehow over time i went from being hogtied in a jail cell, thank God it wasn't a felony, with a hockey helmet on my head, cussing cops out and acting like a damn fool and psycho, because that's how I got when I drank, and I was jealous of other people, and I had a lot of weird neuroses. I re-victimized myself over and over again. Somehow I healed through it. Hitchhiking around the country, hopping freight trains, eating out of dumpsters, panhandling, and I haven't had a job 
like holding down a regular 40 hour a week kind of a job and since I was like 22 years old and I'm going on 54. YouTube, my father confessor. I'm just having a chat with you, man. I'm just kind of confessing and saying, you know, I know that there are some people who have issues with alcohol. I have somebody very close to me who I don't want to influence and say, hey, well, my, you know, so-and-so is drinking, you know. I just don't want to have to live on, under glass because somebody else have, hasn't gone through their mountain range yet and haven't got, hasn't hit the uh, energetic shift in their consciousness. Me, for some reason, I'm able to drink medicinally. I'm able to cop a buzz. And um, I don't go out. I'm not going to run out and get a bunch more alcohol and have a meal up or anything. Just, and I'm going to just say, ah, that was nice. And I'll tell you, it was a spiritual path that did it. When I see a moon that keeps the Earth at a 23.5 uh, degree tilt, and I see other planets, and I see that nothing's drifting out of its orbit, and I see that one planet out of all those things has an amazing atmosphere and a lot of life force that leans on each other in subatomic complexities. And we have the existence that we have. I don't care how much evidence science says that there is no God. I just know that God is nature and nature is a miracle. And we've just gotten used to seeing the whole dang thing. There is a reason for all of this. We can heal through a spiritual path. And I'm not going to let that kind of poison enter my mind. And I don't think anyone who listens to my video should, look, should allow atheism to enter their mind as a function. We are held accountable. And there is a glory that we just are so used to seeing. It just doesn't seem like much at all. But I'm telling you, the spiritual path, the spiritual journey, which is not a straight path, it's a mountain range. It comes in snippets of intuition, that healing, you know, that it brings. I got to cut this video short because if it goes to 15 minutes, for some reason, my YouTube will not allow it to upload. And I'm kind of rambling. I just wanted to say hello to you. To the YouTube world, to my two or three or ten or twenty or whoever may be listening in the future. I'm leaving this behind as a sort of video diary, not just for anybody else, I'm not telling anybody anything. Some of this is just for me. I like this option, this YouTube option. Anyways, I'll have a drink for you. I hope that everybody reaches an energetic shift in consciousness that allows them to be uh, more sensible.